found this oven mitt that's a mouse because oh, she loves mouse. Oh, yeah. This is super cute. Silicone yeah. gripper. Looks yeah. like Glenn Powell. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I'm Woody. That's Greg Gory. Good morning, Woody. Menace. Good morning to you. Good morning, Woody. There is Seabass. We've got Sammy. Morning. Bort. Caroline. We got Morgan. We got Vaughn. Phones are open. 877 44 Woody. That's 877 44 Woody. Hit us up with the text over to 22987. A couple things coming up for you this hour. We're going to do the uh, the Craigslist Price is Right, which we've done a number of times. This is the dark web edition. We oh. talked about Ooh, this. Sweet. I don't even know, and someone's going to have to explain, because I know Morgan ended up going and, and finding a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Like, And maybe I don't... Maybe we don't even talk about how to access the dark web on on the radio. I don't know. Yeah, it's oh. impossible to find out. Believe it or not, I well, know. No, but like you know, people go, "Well, if the terrorists really want to get us, all they have to do and they lay out the plan." It's like, well, yeah. maybe we just don't <laughs> vocalize it and put it out there. Yeah, true. We all know that the dark web exists. Maybe we don't there. like give a step by step on how you find it, but. Yeah. Uh, we have some of the items that are being sold on the dark web, and nice. we'll play around with the Craigslist prices right with that coming up later on in the hour. Now, one of the uh, the websites that has really blown up over the last couple of years is Timu. Yeah, it yeah. has. Yeah, Timu started in 2022, and they're blaming a lot of the closures of the discount stores on Timu. Oh. Like our big lots and our yeah. dollar stores mm-hmm. and all that kind now, of stuff. Now, this stuff's all crap, right? Uh, well, everything we'll, I've like cheap garbage. See, no, I'm see. asking the question. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's not name brand stuff. It's very but beyond rare. not name brand. I think what Woody's saying is it's literal cheap quality. It would fall just, apart in three seconds. Yeah, right, yeah, disposable, maybe. disposable stuff. <laughs> yeah, kind no? of. Like for no, the well, most you can part, you can find anything and everything on Timo. I know that, but then how long does it last? Like you get it, and then it's like what done and. I don't know because a you week can. Or two. I mean, well, you can find sex toys on there. You can get e-bikes, like usual, like e-bikes that you would see in a store for like two grand. You can get for four hundred bucks. And on these there. are the kind that burn your house down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the, the minute you plug off. it. Yeah, the minute you plug it in the charger, you know. next thing you know, you got a fire that even the fire department can't put out because yeah. it's white hot. I'm curious but how this stuff even is physically able to be produced at these prices. Yeah, that's like does well. Does it, well, check this out because there was a story just recently how uh, Dior, the you know fashion. Yeah. Company, mm-hmm. they have a uh, uh, handbags that they sell for twenty seven hundred bucks. Yeah, and they went through a lawsuit, and it says that they're actually made for like twenty five bucks. No, uh, yeah, fifty seven dollars. Yeah. Okay, yeah, like, I think Italy yeah. was suing them or something. The country of Italy. Yeah, so they had to disclose like how much it actually yeah. costs to make these bags. God, and they spent a billion dollars on the Super Bowl this past Super Bowl. You're the you're not Dior, but Timu. No, Timu. Yeah, they were Timu. spending a ton of money. Every other ad seemed so, like it was a. A Timu ad. Oh, yeah, yeah, like how much does stuff actually cost to produce? I do not know. Yeah. But what Timu does is like cut out the middleman and directly from the manufacturer, whoever's making this stuff, mm-hmm. is shipping it. Yeah, straight I, to I, you. I listened to a podcast that kind of explains their supply chain. It's, it's a different because they like the manufacturer won't make, let's say, fill in the blank, an e bike until Timu gives them, you know, a thousand orders. And then they say, oh, I can make, we can make this many thousands. Oh. And like Menace is saying, we'll ship it directly from our factory. Yeah. There's no yeah. Timu warehouse like there would be for an Amazon. Right. And mm-hmm. they also, I think they have some kind of deal where they're skirting international tariff laws too. Or oh, okay. So they're like, that's a, another part of the d- discount is they're not exactly claiming things necessarily. Oh. There's some, there's some built in thing a few years ago that gives well, them access around those. I know things. what it is. I've never bought anything from Timu. Any yeah. Timu shoppers in here? I well, have not. Yeah. Morgan, have you ever used uh, Timu? No, I haven't, but my mom loves it. Yeah? yeah. Like, what kind of stuff does she buy? She's bought a few things for, like, themed sex toys. parties. <laughs> yes, maybe sex toys. I <laughs> Probably. didn't ask about that. They yeah. have that on there, by the way? Yes. Oh. They have everything. Why would you buy anything on there that you're going to put in your body? <laughs> Good point. But no, the clothing is terribly made. She says you can wear it one night for, you yeah. know, an event, and then it's yeah. done. They or, battle okay. with Shein, which is another discount clothing yep. spot. Now, the downfall I heard about is it takes a long time to get to you. Is now, that right? Well, I think that has changed because I was just about to tell Seabass is, uh, you know, I just recently went on Timu to buy some items. Uh-huh. And they actually have set up some warehouses so they can get you stuff within a week. Okay, but that was nor- when it first launched, that was the kind of yeah, thing. Something, like, yeah, some, it, some factory okay. in the middle of China. It'll take something. like three weeks before you got something. Well, yeah. Menace did buy something just, to, yeah. just to, so we can all see how it all works. Mm-hmm. Menace's Timu review. And what did you buy? You said he well, bought a couple things. I, I thought of some people on the show. So oh, first, oh, okay. first I bought uh, Greg. I bought you a oh, neck babe. massager 
Oh. That was nine, uh, $19.08. Now, okay. if you want to go ahead and open that up, set it up. Now, the problem is, I thought it was like rechargeable, but you actually have to plug it in. Oh. So then oh. Can... oh. See, okay. I'm not buying anything from Timo that goes into my wall outlet. Because that, again, house burned down. Right. Oh, yeah, so this one of those, like, it's like a neck pillow, but it's yeah. got those built in little oh. uh, nodes yeah. That, yeah. Ro that rotate. It says so, uh, Timo is good for teachers because usually we have uh, to use our own money to pay for the stuff in yeah. our classroom. Oh, yeah, yeah like pencils yeah. and stuff. Or... Yeah. So, and then I thought of Woody and I bought this sound machine. Machine because he likes to sleep with sound machines. Yeah, oh. and I so I opened it up and I immediately broke the top of it because okay. I thought you had to. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> I thought you had to turn it to make different sounds. Yeah, but it's actually pretty cool. So. Oh, it still works? Yeah, it does. So what was the thing you broke off? What does that do? I nothing. It was just for show. Oh, okay. Then, Ocean, yeah. stream, rain, rain. or fire, crickets. crickets. Yeah. Okay, that's uh, yeah, I guess that's right, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that so, was nine dollars oh, hey, in seventy four cents. <laughs> okay, aren't there like podcasts that do the same thing? Yeah. Oh, apps. Right. So uh, now I can't turn it off. Stuff. Oh, yeah. Now close. you can't turn it off. Oh, damn! I can't like <laughs> legit turn it off. Okay, there we go. I'm right. looking right now. I'm seeing a hoodie that's like the ramen. It, it's you know like the ramen cover. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it says instead of ramen, it's weed flavor. It's got marijuana. <laughs> oh, nice. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. It's only ten dollars and twenty cents. Yeah, that's so, cool. So and then for Sammy, I found this oven mitt that's a mouse because oh, she loves mouse. Oh, yeah. This is super silicone cute. Silicone yeah. gripper. Looks yeah. like Glenn Powell. Yeah. Okay, honestly. <laughs> Three dollars and ninety eight cents. That does look like something you would buy. It, it is does. super cute. Yeah. Yeah. Super cute. And when, so super when you're grabbing cute. your cookies out of the oven, <laughs> yeah. yeah, little mouse is eating. This, Perfect. This is the other thing that I bought because you know we like to talk about the office toilet all the time. Uh -huh. I thought we sh should like juice it up or like you know I don't know make it put some flair on it. You can make a uh, your toilet look like a disco light. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> And that so was it, only four dollars and forty eight cents. Wait, this is a light oh, that nice. clips under your bowl. And, yeah, and, and then it kind of projects a uh, disco uh, pattern. Yeah, to rave while you're going to the bathroom. Okay, that's <laughs> the best. Oh yeah, because I sent it to you directly. I uh, posted something that maybe you would want to buy. It's like a rear view mirror for your toilet lid. Right. It goes so, so when you lift your toilet lid up, there's a little rear like where you yeah. the middle so, the lower your back would be. So when you uh, look back, Greg, you get a nice clear shot of your butthole of actually. So you can see if you're like really cleaning up well enough. Oh, so I'm taking a TP out yeah, in front yeah. of you to look. Yeah, that makes sense. sense. Greg, how's your neck massager? You know, it's, it's kind of legit. Really? It's actually nice. And it's nice. super simple. You just hit the on-off button. And <laughs> now, are you supposed to lay been... on the ground with that thing? I would imagine. Is that what you're yeah. supposed to do? You're not well, supposed to like I hold it like that. I think it had like a, a, a thing, a strap on the back that you put on your chair. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay, try or, that though. Yeah. Or here, lay down on the ground, yeah. Greg, and give us yeah, a review. Yeah, lay, lay on it. <laughs> this is the yeah. Timu review. Somebody did say... um their mom, sister, stepmom, numerous other aunts have gotten their credit card info stolen. Uh-oh. Yeah, because yeah. I think what they do is because they're, you know, old people on Facebook, there are like some um, like counterfeit websites that some make it Timu look like clones. Timu and then they put oh, in their information. See, that's Great. why I've never uh, used okay. Timu is because that's what I heard. They were stealing information. Mm. So yeah. to not use it. How is it, Greg? Well, you know, lying down is not as good as just grabbing it and holding it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, kinda, it goes a little too high. So yeah. it kind of goes to the back of your skull. Uh -huh. uh, but uh. I see how this could be good if okay. we only just keep it a little lower. All okay. right. No, this I, is nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I also bought a light switch that that is an actual light. That's oh. pretty light. Yeah, that's pretty so cool. So you would like, like stick that somewhere. Yeah. It's like those old tap lights. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, you have like yeah. a little storage area. You can just like the, attach that to the wall. And yeah. It looks like a like a wall plate with a light that, switch. And you just flip it and like uh, like an LED light comes on. How much did that cost? That's, that was $3.60. And and How can I get an electric bike <laughs> for, <laughs> what did you say, three something, 400 bucks? Yeah, 400 bucks. But yet that yeah. light switch costs that much. But, see, and, but again, at $3 and that... Includes everything. That's from yeah. China to your door for three dollars. I know how. how? Uh, yeah. So then, well, uh, <laughs> uh, Texter does say uh, seven one six says Timu is garbage from China and its purpose is for the Chinese to collect personal data. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, now they rumor. know you like. They lights. have no other ways to do it. Okay, now they know well, they, they have TikTok like, and now they have Timu. But like again, personal <laughs> data. What is, so they like menace likes light switches and back massagers. <laughs> Okay, what yeah, are right. they going to do with that? Uh, 9 for 9, we went camping recently, and uh, we bought a ton of stuff from Timu. Very hit or miss. None were in the middle. It was uh, like a great buy or basically just broke right away. Uh, now, here's, like, an, like here's another thing I don't know if I should, should do in the studio, but I'm going to do it anyways. Bubble guns are very popular on social media, and this one has uh, 36 uh, different um, areas to shoot out bubbles. Oh. So let's see if it works. Okay. This one was, the bubble gun was $3.50. Uh, Fifty six. I see those people at the with the kiosks at the mall. They use the the bubbles to get people's attention as they're walking by. 
Oh, that, that's a, well, that's a that's miss. That's a miss. Yeah, that thing sucks. Here are... Oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. oh. oh yeah, wow. Yeah, it's still a bubbles. Miss. All right. <laughs> cool. Now, the thing that I found, though... Enjoy uh, the plastic dolphins. <laughs> that I found out that Timu actually has food on it. Oh, so, that's... Really? Gotta have arsenic in it. <laughs> so if you Sawdust. like to... Lead yeah. You're down to try... COVID chips. These are pizza potato chips. Now, no. they actually... Um, <laughs> no? the bag. It it's says, got some Chinese lettering. Yeah, yeah it says Calbee pizza uh, potato chips. Okay. And... Uh, Unfortunately, on Timu, the, the food items are actually pretty expensive Weak. because they sell them in bulk. And then so you can't get them like individually. So the pizza so how many chips, of these do you have? Uh, five pack. I already gave them away to some little kids. <laughs> but uh, five pack <laughs> <It's dead kids. laughs> is $19.99. That's, that's but not cheap. Also, another thing that I found when I clicked on this, that you can buy this stuff in installments like on <laughs> a firm and afterpay. Yeah. After so for- if I wanted to buy these pizza chips... I only had to pay four dollars and ninety nine cents that day. Oh so well, that's, that's it, when you know you've really made it. <laughs> yeah, when you're smells buying smells like a sock. Okay. Is, all right, when you're Who's buying down? chips on Timu, on basically like a layaway plan, yeah, yeah. or financing it, dude. All those right. are a plus. They are. That is so good. Tastes way better than mm. it smells. Yeah, that is really good. <laughs> well, great. Now you guys have just implanted chips in yourself, and then the Chinese <laughs> can now track you. That's right. Oh, way to it. go. So the virus. most expensive item that I did buy. And I don't know if, if you're adventurous to try this, but there are like butter sticks. Ugh. So forty one ninety nine, eighteen pack. I think they're just sticks of butter that are forty one dollars for butter. For yeah, freeze dry butter. The yeah. Hell? So yeah, what is it though? I mean, well, they look like I, I, I don't really know. Can, can you read, you read the this? Chinese me? ingredients. Um, can you read it? Jaga Rico Hokkaido <laughs> butter <laughs> flavored <laughs> potato <laughs> snack. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So it's potato. It's just, yeah, it's extruded potato. Oh, really? It butter maybe flavor. has a butter flavored. Because uh, it looks like French fries. Or it's yeah. just butter. Yeah. I think it's just <laughs> butter sticks. <laughs> it's Hokkaido just butter. Ignore the potato part. Okay. It's just butter. Yeah, there's no. I, okay, yeah, it's just a potato all snack. Right, we're going to try it. Oh, and really? probably just buttery, right? Very I mean, crispy. Okay. Very hard. Oh. <laughs> that's not good. Yeah. I'm with Greg, though. Ugh. This doesn't taste like much Ugh. at all. It doesn't taste yeah. like anything. It's gross. Uh, right. <laughs> it's devoid of flavor. Yeah, that's gross. the most expensive item. <laughs> yeah. That's weird. 41 bucks Ugh. for how many? For an 18 pack of garbage. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It has a very buttery mm, aftertaste, yeah. though. Ugh. Ugh. No, terrible. So Ugh. I've moved on to some other stuff just to cleanse our palate. The Happy Bing Bing Wafer Cone Snack Strawberry Flavored. Ooh, Bing Bing. And it kind of looks like a dumb. Oh, yeah, look at that. What was that? A dum dum or what do you think? Well, it looks like an yeah, ice cream cone. Very thin ice cream cone. There you go. What? Like a right. candy. Yeah, it looks like, almost looks like a, like a toy version of an ice cream cone. It's new food and it's from China. What do you th- hates both mm. those things? <laughs> <laughs> I do hate China. That's true. Uh-huh. Um, you know what it reminds me of? Like, uh, I remember as a kid, they had those little ice cream cones that had, like, mm. instead of ice cream, it was like marshmallow uh-huh. you know, yeah. in the middle of it. And they would have, like, yeah. I remember Melissa Horowitz's mom always had like 400 packs of those. Oh, yeah. She would was... eat those like crazy. Uh, Melissa Horowitz, eh? Yep. Mm. Yeah. That's uh, the going in, it's okay, but then it's got a really filmy finish. <laughs> it kind of tastes <laughs> like know? those wafer cookies. <laughs> yes. It's like a wafer uh, with yeah. not enough strawberry. It flavor. is one of those wafer cookies, but cone shaped. Mm. Yeah. Not good. I'll no. give it to Vaughn. He'll eat all Strawberry this flavor. Well, it does have this happy cartoon character on it. It can't be that bad. <laughs> it's not good. Mm. Ugh. Oh God! Smile as the cadmium enters your body. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, there's so, uh, there's mm. Menace's Timu review. Yes, you guys. with food. Who knew? Yeah. Who knew? Not terrible. Yeah, right. and I got the items pretty quick. And also, they have this weird thing that every time you go on the website, you got to spin for coupons. So I actually got everything for under a hundred bucks. Everything? Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Even the forty-one dollar. That yeah. includes the forty-one dollar butter sticks. Uh, yeah, go to the Timu website, and again, you have to before even entering, you have to spin a wheel, which okay. is pretty cool. <laughs> Greg, what is this uh, massive news that you have to share? Oh my God! So, you know how I've always wanted a beach getaway. Yeah. Yes. I might have made an offer on one. No way! What? Awesome. And they might have accepted. <gasps> no. Shut up. And, awesome. And by might have, I mean they did. And no I did. way! I know. I, Rip. Hell yeah. I always dreamt of Santa Barbara. Oh, and, you and, mean okay? So like an actual and, plate, and not I, like you're finally yeah, yeah. gonna. Because Greg has been notorious for like he wants to go on a beach vacation. Oh uh-huh. yeah. And then I, he ends up staying at his house and going nowhere. Oh, because this, this is a. And actually, like, have to drive to a different city. Yeah. Right. To, and that 
eliminates having to ever fly. <laughs> yeah, and it gets to go to the beach. It is 500 feet from the sand. What? I mean, it is right there. Rip. And I gave up my dream of Santa Barbara because I realized. Oh, I'm not Jeff Bezos. Uh, right. That's disappointing. Yeah. Where is it? That. It's in Carpinteria. Okay. Oh, nice. I love Carpinteria. I love Shut that town. Up. Oh, my God, girl. That town rules. Hell yeah. Go to Spot Burger. Hell yeah. Uh, exactly. Mm. And uh, they've got everything I could ever need. It's a population of 13,000. It's tiny. The place is tiny, but it is. I, I mean, Mahomes could throw a ball and it would land on the beach. <laughs> and Greg, nice. it is so awesome. many antique shops. There's antique stores. There's a sushi Hell spot. Yeah. There's the burger spot. That's it's awesome. A little town, and I'm in the process right now. I'm freaking out. Why? Because <laughs> oh, it's I can't. I, I I'm thinking, why did I do this? I mean, <laughs> if Greg spends fifty bucks, he has the same feeling. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that's the thing. I You're won't love spend, it. Yeah. Like if I spend money on shoes i think oh man did i really need shoes now i see a place for 10 minutes i'm like you know what i'm gonna buy this yeah let's do it yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's it's awesome so congratulations Thank you. Yeah. i mean it is my ultimate yolo moment i yeah. hope there's room for sammy it sounds like she's gonna be there oh uh, yeah geez. yeah you can carpenteria any, any i'll be there oh, wow love we get time. to come to your actual house first before <laughs> we go to the other one? yeah we'll do a little tour yeah, yeah. sweet the woody show all right so uh what's cool that you bought on timu I would say they bought a eight function high pressure shower head. Absolutely love it. It was ten bucks. Really? Yeah. That seems like something that would break after one use. I shop Timu frequently. I bought four ladies' tops and I absolutely love them. I also got plenty of plant items that I use. <laughs> See, Greg, you're always talking about how expensive uh, fake house plants are. That, that is a multi quadrillion yeah. dollar industry. Yeah. Here you go, Steve <laughs> says, I also buy many of my essential oils there as well. Oh, Ooh. I don't that's, know what's in there. That's <laughs> not even joking. That is not a good idea. Oh, okay. yeah. So many supplements and things like that have all kinds of crap in them you don't know about. 702, I got a talking cactus for my grandson. It's five bucks. Still works great. Greg's oh, got one of nice. those. Yeah. One. Where did it go? Oh, yeah. Did it move? Did it get stolen? I think it got moved. Oh. Uh, T-shirts on Timu are not that bad. Surprisingly good quality and fit to size. Okay. Somebody said they bought a two pack of black light flashlights for a dollar seventy five. Usually nice. would have paid ten bucks going to a store. Uh, got a hoodie for my gear shift, so it looks like a little dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. You put it on the okay. It's All like right. a golf club cover. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, it's, it's just that was two dollars and fifteen cents. That's just fun. A four pack of LED lights that you plug into a USB port in your car for extra ambient lighting. Nice. You look like, like a real douche. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, you see the uh, the lifts and the Ubers that, that do that, too. Yeah. I was in a Halloween theme one, yeah. one time where they had little <laughs> the oh, oh, they had orange that lights rips. all around. There you go, nice. Sammy. This one says, I ordered placemats for every holiday. They're amazing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Greg, placemats trash yeah. your classic. I like placemats. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I like. And seeing this is why all these discount stores are going out of business because... Yeah. This is all the kind of stuff you would go to the dollar store for yeah, previously. Yeah, you sit at right. your house and right. buy it. Another text says, I bought wireless headphones that look like AirPods. They work so well. I bought them for five bucks, and they look and feel like AirPods. I was honestly amazed. Awesome. Nice. Five bucks. So, there you go. 